Good morning. Today is the day I become homeless. Join me on this journey. <laughs> Okay, we are officially in the car, leaving my friends removing their car so I can leave. Um, they let me stay at their home for so long. So sweet of them and other friends as well. Thank you. And I'm off <laughs> to turn my SUV into a house. I ordered some stuff on Amazon, good old Bezos, um, that's going to my house. Yes, I am a homeowner. Um, I will <laughs> get into that later. I own a home and I'm not able to go to it. Oh my gosh, my dog is throwing up. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Oh god. Oh. Rocky start. It was a rocky start to the morning. She's fine. Um, <laughs> I think she's just nervous because she saw that I was packing up. Packing up. So right now I'm waiting to get um, my deliveries from my house. Okay. So, uh, making progress. Pretty view. Yeah. Uh, it's not much right now. <laughs> I definitely don't have a platform or anything to put stuff underneath, but I've got all my laundry, trash can, water, soap, wipes, food. Uh, this is all my court stuff. Lots of court stuff to get my kid back and my house back. And yeah. I had to pee. Whoa. Come back here, you. Okay. I get rid of a lot of this stuff. I need space. Eric, which one's Timberlake? Oh, wait. We are eating. Mm. We pulled off here to use the restroom. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. 1870. That's when my house was built. People are having a good time down there. I don't know who those people are, but I want to be friends with them. They sound like a lot of fun. Okay. Goodbye, spirits. I'm just out here freeing the titties. All my clothes are under this door panel that I painted a while ago. It's my bed. Alright, I'm not quite ready um, to talk about everything today and why I'm living out of my car. Um, but it has been two months of me um, using the generosity and kindness of friends and I have a dog obviously and women's shelters um, have no availability for people with dogs um, 
I do have a lawyer. I've been going in and out of court for a while now. Yeah, so let's just hope this isn't permanent and nothing against SUV life or van life or, you know, RV life or anything. I just, I own a home and I have a two and a half year old daughter that's in that home um, with the father who, um, well, I'll refrain from that right now, but anyway, um, It is torture being without my daughter. I sold our house and gave up my career and everything to stay home with her. And um, now, because I haven't worked in a while and my main income was my home business, which I is <laughs> in my house. I can't get into my house. Um, so I can't get an apartment. And now that I'm living in my car, I can't leave my dog in here by herself, obviously. It gets hot and she would definitely die. Um, so I lost my only... Um, remaining job, which is at a restaurant, which obviously their hands are tied. I can't bring my dog to work at a restaurant. Um, so, just trying to make the best out of things. Um, just, yeah, just trying. I'm just trying. <laughs> That's all I can do. Um, Poopy, poopy, poop. Everything, everything is difficult. This state pretends to love women. Massachusetts. I moved here so my daughter would have a progressive, great education, a library with books in it, um, as safe as she can be from mass shootings and all that jazz, and to have four seasons and you know it's rated pretty well here for climate change and all that so put a lot of thought into moving here I don't give up but yeah this is just had my career bought my first home bought a second home bought a third home have a child ran for local office, running again for local office, currently on um, one of the boards for town, working on like five different committees right now for um, climate change preparedness, affordable housing, with my special needs dog who's very, very old going blind, her cataracts get worse every day. She has three legs. Um, she has a wheelchair I can't access in my house. Um, my ex has destroyed my room, ripped the wallpaper off, exposing damaged drywall. The state of Massachusetts sucks because I also have a drug addict tenant in the home. I was trying to help out. I didn't know her prior and she posted in a local group like begging for housing, which is really hard to find here. And I wanted to help her out. So I gave her a place temporarily. It's just like this pay me by the week. Um, no lease. And she has well overstayed her welcome and does drugs around my kid, which whatever floats your boat, but not around a two-year-old. 
Um, but she has more rights than me. She has more rights than my two-year-old. So. I don't want to say it doesn't matter. I'm really hoping things turn around. And I'm really hoping it does matter. And I'm really hoping the truth does get seen in court, finally. So I'm just going to keep focusing on that and staying um, vigilant on top of things and, you know, just doing what I can. Anyway, <laughs> it's a beautiful sunset. <laughs>